question number 11.25 illustrate with examples the limitations of Williamson synthesis for the preparation of certain types of ethers. Now here, as I said in my previous videos that Williamson synthesis, we can prepare any ether, but uh, remember PAH, that is PA, alkyl halide should be always primary. Then only you can prepare any ether. Uh, this we can consider as limitation of Williamson synthesis. If we have to prepare, suppose, uh, ether starting from the alkyl halide, um, this tertiary alkyl halide like uh, CH3, C, suppose this is the alkyl halide given. tertiary and uh, the question is prepare ether by this so we have to select uh, any alkoxide alkyl halide taken is tertiary and by this if we want to prepare some ether by Williamson synthesis then this reaction is not possible So this we have to consider as a limitation of Williamson synthesis. In place of substitution, actually what happens in this case, elimination reaction is taking place. And because of this strong base, this sodium methoxide is strong base. And in presence of a strong base, in case of tertiary halide, elimination reaction is taking place and we can't get ether. Now how the elimination is taking place? Here methyl, one carbon is taken here, one methyl group and chlorine is here and here at the beta position so many hydrogen Present, suppose here one hydrogen we are considering, and this is uh, actually beta position. The carbon which is containing halogen is alpha, and this carbon next to it should be beta. So, beta elimination reaction is taking place. HCl is removed from this in presence of strong base like sodium methoxide. And by this, the compound which is formed is totally different. It is alkene, not the ether. So we are getting CH3, C, CH3, and double bond formation is taking place between this, and CH2 will be here. So alkenes are the products formed. With sodium chloride. And methanol. So this is we are considering as limitation of Williamson synthesis.